Hello everyone, my name is Connor Hoffman, and today I am going to be showing you how to build both forms of Rey, the Toa of Peace. If you'd like to see more of Rey, go ahead and check out her Order of Matanui Files slideshow, where you can get a much closer look, and you get a few story details while you're at it. Without further ado, let's begin with her Matoran form. Build-wise, Matoran Rey is pretty simple. The more complicated parts, I'll show you how to build, but for now, pause the video and see what you can build here. Alright, let's begin. First, you'll obviously take your legs, snap them together like this. Obviously, they're very simple. You just put those CCBS bones together, and put that little claw on the foot, and then you're done. The head's just a metro head with a... Uh, Bionicle Star's Tahu mask on it. Very simple. And then the arms are just a Borak limb, a Glatorian hand, and a hand connector with tires covering up the thin parts of the uh, Borak arm. Alright, now for the body, which is admittedly the only complicated part of this build. Let's begin with this. Take this uh, Technic piece and put it inside the middle of the uh, Mata foot. Rotate it around like this, actually, so that the round holes line up with the holes on the foot. Then slide this axle straight through, and it should stick out a length and a half on either side. Then go ahead and take this hand connector and stick it in between these two parts of the foot here. And take these two Technic constructions with the pins and the uh, half pin half axle and this thing on the end. <laughs> and clip that on either side of the foot, like so. All right. Now take these two Technic pieces and slide them on either end, like so. And then put these hand connectors with the uh, ball joint and the two long axle in on either side. Now you just simply take this uh, Bionicle Star's foot with the uh, hole on the bottom and put that right onto the front of the torso like so and take this Technic construction and this Technic construction stick them together put a very useful piece on this side and another ball joint even it out and then simply just put this right there and now you have her torso simply click all the joints together Her hair piece I will show you how to build with the uh, with the full size version of her. And that's all the limbs. Let me just grab the hair piece. And this, you connect that part right there on the back, and that's how you build Matoran Ray. Now let's move on to the legs of the Toa size version. Let's begin with the legs. This is a mirrored design, so everything you see, you will have to build two of, and mirror it, of course. Uh, starting with the foot, just take a, a regular Mata foot with the three long axle on the side. Take this construction here, which, by the way, go ahead, feel free to pause our, the video earlier and build everything you see here. Stick that piece in there, and then take this little greeble and stick it on the side here, like so. Uh, next, we'll do the thigh. This is just a simple uh, CCBS construction here with a uh, Hero Factory core on the side. Set that aside and take a Metru leg and this triple long pin thing and these two Technic lift arms stick on the inside of the Metru leg, like so. Set that down, then take these two pieces and put them together like this. Alright, and then next we'll take this construction here, this Rakshi foot, and this four long axle with the stopper on the end, stick that in like that, and then take this construction and put it over the over the foot like that. Alright, and then next we will take these two and put them together like so. And 
then you will cap off the end of the pin here with a bow rock eye. And take this little armor add-on piece and just stick that right on the front there. Alright, and clip it all together. Like so. There you have raised legs. Next we'll do the arms. Now for the arms, go ahead and bit, pause the video and build everything you see here. I'll give you some close-ups of these two more complicated shot pieces. Alright, let's begin. Let's build her upper arm first. This is just a Hero Factory bone, or a CCPS bone, with a rubber band around it and a four long, or a size five shell. Clip those together like so, obviously. And then take these two pieces here, these two constructions, and just simply slide them together like that. Like that. Next we will take this Anika upper leg armor and slide this pin with the stopper in it and the stud on the end and this little uh, doohickey, this very useful piece and put that in on the inside all the way, like that. Set that down. Next we will put these two pieces together, like so. This is another mirrored design, so everything you see here will have to be inverted for the other arm. So get something like that going. This, just, this is just an Anika, or a Glatorian neck piece with a rubber band over it. Uh, next, take this piece and hold it in the middle, these two pieces, like so. While you take this piece, actually first take this piece and slide it over the outside like this, and like that. You should get something like this. Then take this piece and put it over the outside like that. Next, we'll take these two pieces, this construction here, and just simply slide this piece up in there. And last but not least, clip this over the entire outside of the arm. Like that, you may have to... It's a little bit of a forced maneuver, but it works. And then simply just clip the Hero Factory arm under there, and the fist right there. And there you have our arm. You'll need to, and you will need to mirror it like so. There we go. Now let's move on. Now let's do her waist, or her lower tor torso, whatever you want to call it. Starting with the Vaki waist, take these two pins, or these two three long pins, stick them on the opposite holes, like that. And then take this other three long pin with the connector on the end and stick that in the bottom hole. Next we'll take this new piece, the uh, hole side with the pin sticking out, and we'll stick that on right there. And then slide a three long axle in there. That will float around freely, but that's okay. Next we'll take this, um, yeah, next we'll take this piece. Stick it on the, f uh, stick it on this side, like this. Not the other side, this side, like so. And then on the back, we will take this piece, which is another one of these new pieces right here. A little lift arm, and then a two long axle with a ball joint on it. Stick that right over this. And make sure that pin goes in the hole. Like so. This may take a little bit of work. Let's do this. There we go. Slide that on all the way. Like that. So you get something like this. Then take this piece and stick that 
over the top like so. And then next take these two Technic pieces, stick them on either side and push them inward so they squeeze that pin in the middle there. Then take this armor add-on piece and stick that right there. And then on the front take this Bionicle Stars armor piece and stick that right in front like so. And that's how you build her waist. Moving on, we will go to her torso next. Now for her torso, these are the parts you'll need. A uh, quick note here, there are a few modded pieces and illegal connections in her torso, just FYI. First of all, this plate here has been sanded down to the point where it's about uh, one and a half uh, pins long. Second of all, we have a flex tube piece here that's cut to four long in this piece. And third of all, I have forced this uh, pin here, or this connect connector, into this armor piece. So, just a quick note, those connections are not entirely necessary besides the flex tube, so those are optional. Now let's begin. First we'll take these pieces, and actually these pieces, and connect these two together, like so, with a four long pin. Very good. Next we will take, um, let's do these two pieces, and clip these together like so. If this looks familiar to you, then this is based off of Kampaku's torso design, slightly. So, you have that going for you if you know how to build Kampaku. Uh, take this three long pin with the stud on the end, stick that through there, and then stick a hand connector over it, like so. Next we will take this piece, slide it all the way through like that on the torso, and cap it off on the other end with this Technic bean and this Technic washer, like so. Now it's all sturdy. Then we'll take um, and we'll take this hand connector piece, slide that all the way down the flex tube, and then take these two connections like this and brace it on either side, like so. Next we'll take this very useful piece, and this is just used for filler, so just like that. Now on the back we'll take these pieces, slide, simply just slide that on there, and then put that right there on top of it. And that still connects. Now this connection won't, won't be possible, but you can very simply just leave this sitting in here and connect it later on. Uh, so now let's take this Anika armor and we simply just clip this on either side of the torso, like so. That piece fell off. Stick that back on and then we will put this whole armor piece right on top, like so, and that flex tube should stick right in the bottom hole of that armor. You can work it in there if you don't, if it doesn't work. There we go, and now we will take these pieces, combine them like so, like that, and then simply just stick that on the front of the torso, and then take these two little greebles and stick them in the available holes on the shoulders. Voila! Go ahead and connect the waist, like so, and then you have her torso. Next we will do her head and her hair. These are the parts you'll need for her head and her hair. Her head is basically the same as the last one, just a Glatorian, or a uh, Metru head with a short brain and a stock in the back and a uh, Bionicle Stars Tahu mask. Next uh, for the hair. These pieces here are just one stud half pin pieces with a permanent marker over them to hide the gray since they don't make those pieces in black. Uh, take this scroll armor piece and this Technic connector piece and just clip them together like so. And then simply just take 
these Technic pieces and all these little barb pieces. Slide them in together like so. And then all you need to do is take this piece, clip it, or first take the Borak uh, mask piece, slide that onto the axle, then take this connector piece and simply put that on one of the half pins and then put this on one of the half pins and then just connect the other side if you can get it on there like so and it's that simple straighten out the, uh, the barbs and then simply just take this tempting piece and slide it on the pin there that's how you build her head and her hair. Now let's go ahead and clip her body together. So we'll take, just stick the neck where the neck goes, and the arms where the arms go. And the legs where the legs go. These connections should be fairly obvious. And that's how you build Ray as the mock. Now let's I'll show you how to build her weapons and then we'll be we'll be done. Now finally her weapons. Let's start with the shield. Take these two uh, Lego pieces, connect them like this and like this. These little clip-on pieces are facing the opposite direction to the handlebar pieces and simply just put them onto the front of this Kopaka shield. Then take this little radar dish piece, put a stud on the bottom, and stick that in the middle. Next, take two skid plates and two Lego studs. Connect them, um, connect the matching colors together like so. And then just take the skid plate and stick that on the clip-on piece. And rotate it until it stops moving like so. That's how you mill the outs of it outside of her shield, and then to connect the handle, you simply take these two round one-third plates and this little Technic axle construction and stick that on the inside, and that's how you build her shield. Now for her sword slash pike slash whatever you want to call it, take this uh, Mata neck piece and this five long uh, axle, and then take this uh, blade piece, this Matto blade piece, put two very useful pieces on there and this little single stud piece and that Technic piece on the inside. Slide that all the way up in between Then add a washer and a Borak eye like so. Then next you will take two of these little connector pieces and stick them there and there on the outside like so take the handle put a tube over it and slide that onto the other end and then take these little dangly bits stick them through the Technic piece in the middle and connect one on the other side and those are supposed to move around freely you can obviously put a more frictioned Technic pin on there if you don't want them to dangle around. Then take these th four uh, plate pieces, Lego plate pieces, stick them on either side of that, and then on either side of this, like so. And then you are done. And so that is how you build Ray. Once again, guys, I would like to thank you for watching, and make sure you comment, subscribe, do whatever you need to do, like the video if you liked it, and if you'd like to see more how to builds, feel free to request them. Once again, with this series, I'm going to be trying something new. This time, I will suggest, which would you rather see next? Which would you rather see next? A how-to on Chaluno, the Guardian of the Luna Dial, or Mars, the X-Dark Hunter? Check out their Order of Matanui files and tell me what you think in the comments below. If you guys do anything with Ray, as in make a mock, following this instructions or not, or 
use a design from these mocks, please let me know. Post in the comments and you will be featured at the end of this video. So once again, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you next time.